All right, guys. So we had a, in the previous video, we had a introduction to functions. And now uh, we would like to, or I would like to convert that uh, program, or basically this section, into a function. Encapsulate this selected part into a function, and then call that function in this uh, program. Now, how do we go about it? Well, uh, let's cut that. And uh, what's that? Down. And here I go, I start def uh, convert unit. That's the name of my function. Like I mentioned in the previous video, I'm just going to give it one input, which is which going to be a dictionary, and I'm going to call that all inputs. colon, and then I'm going to paste my code. Right. Now, and then here at the bottom, we're going to have return xxx for now. Okay. Right. Now, uh, first of all, all inputs, that's a dictionary. Um, what what kind of inputs do we need from uh, for our function? Well, we need we know it from previous experience. We need the value, we need the from unit, and we need the to unit. Well, so let's call it like this. Um, input value is going to be all inputs. Um, value input. Okay, for instance, uh, from unit, and the names that don't matter, I'm just, you can do them, just, just make sure that they are clear to you as a developer, and, <clears throat> uh, you know, you know what they stand for. So, uh, all inputs would be our from input, okay, and to unit would be all inputs and two inputs. Right. I would also advise you <clears throat> to um, to do it like this and then use these variables in your code because if should there be any change, you can do the change up here, but those variables stick in your code. Whereas if you always use that you can also use that in your code then further down the line if you change that you'd have to change it all through your code and if your function is substantial that's going to be a hassle so you know just a piece of advice right so now we have to change our code so uh for instance from input we don't have that anymore but that's going to be from unit because that's our variable so it's going to be from unit yeah, and it's like like I said. I mean, you could also you could also put something like that here, and sprinkle sprinkle it all over your code or wherever it's uh, needed. However, like I said, if if something changes, then you'd have to change it everywhere in your code. Whereas whereas if you use uh, this from unit and um, you need to change whatever it refers to, then change it up here. And it's still you don't have to change change in your code, right? Again here from input would again be from unit, and to input would be to unit, and to unit. Okay, so that's done. Over here, uh, as far as I can see, we have nothing. We only have the value. I'd have to find the value here. Uh, value input. And that would be the input value. Right. And now from unit to unit. From unit to unit, right? Conversion type is from unit and to unit. Okay. 
oh I've got here from unit already defined uh, hmm. right then let's call that uh, convert from and convert to and then change that here convert from let's copy that it goes faster <clears throat> convert from to and convert to I was not aware that I already used from and to unit right so that's fixed uh, here is everything is okay here is everything okay from unit is defined here to unit okay convert is that input value input value is there okay got that right now it should work so the function is now okay now all I have to do is now create my dictionary and that would look like this function outputs is a dict and then let me just insert all those and then all I do is basically right see here so return function outputs right nice so and now now this is my engine I just defined my engine and now this is my chassis and now and now I will uh, insert my engine here right now however now before I uh, before I insert my engine I'm aware that my engine requires a dictionary with those inputs so basically me as a chassis guy I'd have to create that dictionary in all enable to be to install my engine into my chassis I'd have to, first of all to create that dictionary well then uh, let's call something uh, like this user inputs and that would be something like this uh, value input would be value input then uh, from input would be from input and to input would be to input and close dictionary right so now I've created my dictionary I also would like to create a dictionary for the outputs because I know the the, the function or the engine outputs a dictionary so con conversion outputs is equal to a dict okay right so that that's 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 why I like to compare it to cars it's like I'm preparing for the engine installation and I've done my uh, I've done my dictionary for the inputs I've created a dictionary for the outputs and now conversion uh, outputs is equal to now I call my function uh, what's it called convert units convert units and the input would be user inputs and that's it right and now what did we what did we print in the in the in the previous application we printed the string so I just have to print uh, conversion outputs and what was the string called uh, st string output right string output and close so basically now this application should work 
And uh, the difference is that it has its engine now outside, defined outside, but it's just calling the engine. It doesn't have the engine anymore in its own code. Let's try that out. F5, uh, invalid syntax. Uh, oh yeah, here I see my problem is I'm not supposed to print that. Uh, this is here my string output. I haven't defined that in the function, first of all. That's my string output in case it works. Otherwise, my string output, and I have to remove the parentheses at the end. Yep. Right, that's right now. And otherwise, it will be this here. My string output would be this string output is equal to this if the guy inputs any nonsense right that was my mistake and uh, right I think now it should work save it run still invalid sin oh yeah okay got that save now run it okay oh I got it I forgot the parent, the closing parent. Save that. And F5. So now, enter value which to convert. Let's take our mm, 17. Unit to convert from, let's km. Unit convert to mile. And we got it. kilometer to mile, 10.5563. Press any key and let's press any key. And let's do another value, let's say 56. Uh, yd to uh, I don't know uh, millimeter and then we got it and exit with it. So you see application works fine and now we don't have the whole engine in here but this this small minute uh, thing that's the only thing calling the engine the whole the rest of that of the rest of that application is just is just chassis let me do some returns here so you can see better so basically we just have a chassis here and this is the only part where the engine is being called and here all this is now just prep work for installing that function on that engine and this is the way you build real world applications you don't have your end you don't build you don't code your engine in here in the chassis you'd have it somewhere separate and then you just install it in here and you your job as a, as a, as a chassis developer is basically to to prepare the installation for that engine if the engine requires a dictionary well as inputs well then you know build that dictionary if it demands a dictionary as outputs well then set this dictionary up and that's the way that's the way professional programs are being built now uh, what we can do is we have now the function here in the same file as the um, as as the as the as the code itself. Uh, what one can do is one can take this function out and put it in a separate file. So let's try that. So let's uh, cut that and create a new file paste it and save that file first of all in the same directory as the file itself this is our this is the code we're using showcase code and now we're going to call it here let's call it um, uh, convert units module and it's the same directory as the um, as the and save it right got that and now what I can do is basically uh, there are multiple ways of doing the imports one way of doing it is like this from now what is our module called convert units module import what is our function called? Convert units. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. 
Let's save that. Let's try it out. So value I wish to convert, uh, let's say uh, 126 uh, from kilometer to mile, <clears throat> sorry. And it does the conversion. And you see now we have a very compact uh, code here, just the chassis. We get our engine from outside and it does this conversion as before. And then I can obviously here uh, exit. <clears throat> Another way. Another way to convert, because uh, let me get that file I just saved, uh, that one here. Um, you see here, uh, this is the module and it just has one function. Obviously, if you have a, if you have a professional programs, you'd have like in this module, multiple functions below each other. Uh, you know, we just have one function right now. So we, we are just importing this function. You can also go like this, import star and then uh, you would import all functions in and uh, still works. I mean, if I, if I press F5, I mean, for us, it doesn't matter. We, we just have one function. But if, if I had multiple functions in that module, that thing would still work. And as you see here, um, enter value or convert. Let's, let's do a quick test run. 35 uh, millimeter uh, yard. And I would get that. Okay, so that works fine. Uh, uh, another scenario is what what do I do if I have this module not in the directory of the code? Well, then uh, that's not a big deal. Uh, let me go like this. I have now uh, copied this convert mod convert unit modules to the desktop to my own desktop. So I have a copy there. Uh, so now what I do is uh, and let me. So what I do is basically import. Sys. This is the system module. And what I have to do is basically append. Uh, Python has certain system paths, which uh, we don't have to go too deeply into that now. But one important thing is I have to append to those system paths. Now the path wherever that document or that module is lying. And uh, mine is now on a desktop. That's why I, I have the, the, the path to the desktop here again the the backslashes are being escaped that's why they're double and then i i call that module right and let's let's give it another name let's let's call it unit convert units zero and i'm going to change the name of that as well on the desktop so uh, we don't right that should be Convert units zero, right? That should work. Now, and now I'm calling it from desktop, so it's nowhere near wherever that document where that code is saved. And let's try it out. F5, enter value I wish to, uh, let's say 26, and let's take mile, and let's take kilometer, and it does the conversion. So you see, now the beauty of our, of our uh, unit converter right now, we have an engine, separated from the chassis this engine lies anywhere it doesn't have to even lie in the same directory as uh, as um, as our chassis and we can just call or or get that uh, engine through this either if it's in the same directory if it's in the same directory you just need that line if it's not in the same directory which would be probably more like in real life you just import sys and then append that path, wherever it is to that. that. All that work has to be done by the chassis person. You as a function developer, uh, you have to develop that function and send it to that guy or place it somewhere and that chassis guy has to access it and he has to do that. Then here uh, you build whatever you need for your own chassis and here you set up the engine installation and then you just call the engine. And that's it. And now we have seen here, this is the way you uh, separate issues. And let's quickly look at the function itself. So this is the function. And you see what we did, we have only one input, which is basically a dictionary. We parsed the individual values that we need from that dictionary here, and then 
we just use those variables everywhere in our code and then we had our outputs as well in a dictionary and then that function returned that dictionary and then the beauty of the whole thing is that when you return a dictionary you can decide whatever you need from that dictionary here the chassis designer or, or builder uh, decided he just needs the string output of all the possible outputs of the of that dictionary and that's the beauty of using a dictionary you call the function once but then you'd have a whole dictionary and then you can decide what you need from that dictionary.